management and finance management. Cost management is to complete the project, meeting project economic objectives within budget, right? And costs are the function of quality, uh, sorry, quantity, unit price, and productivity. Say this chart. We say cost, 100 yen is not universal. 100 yen by who? I mean, the 100% productivity or by my friend having 75% uh, of productivity. And the third one, uh, my sister having, uh, say, 60% of productivity, 100 yen, pay 100 yen. So in this case, the value of 100 yen is different, right? So cost is the overall concept of quantity times unit cost and adjusted by productivity. So for instance, uh, if I say, I, I'm going to teach this class in English. Somebody says, uh, well, it's easy, easy. In America, everybody, you know, speaks English and uh, teaches courses in English. And I said, well, it's OK. However, can we expect, say, I'm sorry to say, housewife, ordinary housewife, to teach a project management class, right? So one person is different. I'm Japanese, yet I can teach better project management than my American uh, friend, lady friend who is married, right? And so always don't look at just monetary values. Cost is a function of quantity, unit cost, and productivity. That's one concept that uh, you should take care of very carefully. And cost should be optimized. I mean, project cost should be optimized against the project execution way. As I say, <coughs> as I said, my mentor is Exxon Engineering based in uh, New Jersey State those days. I come to Exxon three times a year and uh, they uh, gave me a car from uh, John F. Kennedy Airport to take me to the office. And my company president, uh, you know, heard about that. Why you have a car? When I visit Exxon, I go by, uh, you know, charter the, the limousine, I pay money. And then I stop, uh, you know, declining Exxon's offer. But anyway, uh, they are mentor and Exxon Engineering is the father of cost engineering. They have cost, I mean, investment engineering, i.e. And so I learned a lot from them. And they always say, don't let figures walk around on their own. Always budget should be accompanied by execution plan, how to execute it. And so suppose on a lump sum fixed price bidding of say $100 million, right? Company A submitted a bid of say uh, 900,000. Uh, uh, sorry, to say one million project and a nine, uh, 9,000, uh, one million, 990,000 US dollars, bid A. Bid B is uh, say 800,000 US dollars. That the list goes on. 
but Exxon did not award contracts to the lowest bidder. Why did they do so? It's lump sum bid. They factored in execution capability of contractors, right? So contractor A bid price is higher than contractor B, but contractor A performs very good. So price times productivity effectiveness, the bidder B is a winner. That actually happened in Japan. It turned around the race uh, with Exxon. Okay. The cost management consists of cost estimating. Cost estimate, appraisal and contingency allocation, setting budget, monitoring, cost monitoring and control. We say in Japan, cost estimation but the correct American term is cost estimating, not estimation, okay? But this industry term, other people just can say just cost estimation, but strictly speaking, that's cost estimating. Estimating cost, and then uh, cost implies a different. For instance, if you're an IT company, services company vendor, and they say your cost, calculated cost is, say, 8 million, uh, say, uh, say, 40 million yen, right? But price is for 45 million yen. Costs are very really popular and important because we outsource detailed production work to Asian countries. In IT, you call it offshore development. In engineering, use of value engineering center. In this case, value means